Hello and welcome to yoga this evening. I wanted to allow you into my space to participate in a little yoga initiative as I practice alongside of Baron Baptiste. It's empowering to experience other people practicing yoga in a space of community. So that is the purpose of this video. You can also watch a whole 47 and two second minute Baron Baptiste led practice that you can later participate in. So there's many functions to the layers of education that go into a yoga practice, especially if those have developed a fear around entering a space. Meaning a lot of the times you'll enter into a yoga space and the people around you are narcissistic, self-centered gymnasts looking at you as if you're not enough because you might be a little overweight or you can't bend or you have to bend your knees to touch your toes or you're a beginner. The whole point of being a yoga teacher is to teach people yoga. As you can see, I have my blocks, my water, my mat, and I set up a space heater to elevate myself with the heat. Not only does the heat allow for more stretching, into a pose, but it also arises the demon that you work through. So it's that, that experience where you you're get angry and you have a, the heat to make you angry, which is actually your demon, and you battle it through your poses. Not only are you battling your own demons, but you're battling the others that are in the community. So let's get started on this 40, 47 minute yoga practice. I'm hoping that my filmography demonstrates the work. This is one of my favorite Baron Baptiste classes on YouTube. Connection. Make a connection to your body. Let your body be your guide. Make a connection to your breath. Consciously move breath through every cell of your body. Make a connection to your calm center of equanimity. In the pose, you bring that out into your life. And importantly here, make a connection to a bigger purpose, a bigger possibility for your practice and for your life. And most importantly, love yourself. Love your practice, love your life. Now, let's step to the front of your mats. And I'm happy to introduce an amazing community of people just like you who love yoga practice and are here to share their practice with all of us. Let's come into child's pose. Coming onto your knees, bring your knees to the outer edges of your mat. Uh, big toes touching, extend your arms forward, let your head begin to melt into the earth. Let your hips melt into your heels. Let go of everything. So why come into dropping any holding? Drop your belly, drop your brain. Uh, let go of everything, hold on to nothing. Just land here deeply. And take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Uh, coming onto your hands and knees. We'll take a moment here to set up for downward facing dog. Hands at shoulder width, shine bright through your hands with all of the knuckles. Knees and ankles at hip width, tuck your toes. Begin to tilt your tail to the sky, then take your legs up to downward facing dog. Walk your feet back, bring your hands forward, just open up your base, and you can walk it out a little bit. Just start generating some circulation. Just move through your legs, through your arms, just gently, and then begin to stabilize here. So pressing both heels toward the earth. They don't need to touch. Bend your knees a little bit, tilt your tailbone to the sky. Lift the arm bones toward the shoulders, toward the sky, soften between your shoulder blades. And then take your right leg up to the sky, bend the upper knee and take it over, just into like a full body yawn. Fan your hands, make energy in your toes, 10 toes, both soles, stretch a little more, and then reverse your legs. Right foot down, take your left leg up, bend the upper knee, 
take it over just to a place, a space where you feel a strong sensation and awakening and opening. Drop your head completely. Let it go. The jaw free. Breath deep and free. Bring this hip down, left foot down. Walk your hands to your feet. Walk to your feet. Hands to your feet at feet of hip width. Just bow. Let's bend the knees and so we'll start really slow. We'll grow a stretch. We'll grow a flow, breath by breath. Let go through the upper body more completely. The upper body like a waterfall. The legs like a granite cliff. The water flowing over. Walk your hands now back to downward dog. Walk forward. Now walk your feet up to your hands to the front of your mat with your feet together, bow down for a moment, hug down, fire up your quadriceps, move your hips forward, take a deep breath out here, and bring your hands to your hips, catch your hips, pause here, root your legs, your feet here, pull your chest forward to come up with a straight spine, shoulder blades into your back, look up, take your arms up to the sky, root down to rise, even higher and pulling out the hidden inches. Take a deep breath in, bring your hands to your heart center, bend your knees and bow, forward bending, lifting halfway up. So lead with the crown, bend your neck long, and then come to high plank position. Pause here, soften the upper back here. Bring your body to low plank position. If you need to take your knees down, do that high plank position. Downward facing up. Lift your right leg to the sky with an internal rotation. So keeping your right hip in line with the left, come to high plank. Breathe in, low plank, breathe out. High plank, go up, and downward dog. Change legs. Left leg to the sky, come to high plank. Soften the upper back. Take a deep breath in and low plank. Be powerful. High plank. Downward facing dog. Bring that foot down. Come back to your high plank. Take a deep breath in. Low plank. Lower to the floor to cobra. So you'll scoop up with your elbows bent, really emphasizing the opening of your heart, the opening of your chest. Then begin to straighten the arms. You're pulling your mat back, your chest forward, opening to downward dog. You go. Take a deep breath ah. in and a long breath out. Let it release something for you. High plank again. Breathe in, low plank, strong, to upward dog, or get into a cobra. You choose, taking care of yourself here, to downward dog. Exhale. Make the practice room, each pose. Be true, not performing, being real. Take a deep breath out, empty. Come to high plank again. Low plank. Cobra, up dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Awesome. Take a deep breath out. Press your leg bones back. Fire up the thighs. Suck your belly up. And then walk or Low to your hands and lift halfway up. Breathe in, neck long, and bow down deep. And feeling your legs, not forcing, but going to some new place, space. Press your legs down, bend your knees, and reach up. Thunderbolt folks. Utkatasana. Breathe here, lift your toes. Begin to sink deeper by taking your knees back, your shin bones back, more weighted into your heels. Cross your thumbs above your head and just stretch the shoulders back, the arms back. Look up if you can. Look up and back and dip deeper, deeper, squat deeper. Leave your knees bent and bow forward. Hands to the floor. Lift halfway and breathe in. Full breath. Low plank. You go high to low. Rock to upward dog or cobra. Full opening. Downward facing dog. You go. Bring your right foot to your right thumb. Pause here. Spin your back foot flat. So your heels on one line. 
Bring your knee in front knee over the ankle. Get powerful. Outer edge of your back foot roots. Bring your hands to your hips. Pause. Find your back heel. Fire in your legs. Earth in your legs. Come up. Chest over your hips. Look up. Center your pelvis. Take your arms up to the sky. Cross your thumbs above you. Take your shoulders and your arms backward. Look up. Maybe go back. Breathe in. Hands to your heart center. Hands to the floor. Low plank. Low push-up. Upward dog. You go opening and downward facing. Left foot to your left thumb. Back foot flat. Bring your hands to your hips here. Pause. Now really centering into both feet. The back heel root, the front heel weighted, knee over the ankle. Dip your hips deeper and bring your chest over your thighs. Look up, take your arms up. Press your palms together this time, palms press. Take your head back to go back. So inner back leg, fire it up. Go up to go back. And hands to your heart center to the floor. Chaturanga, low plank, upward dog. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale. Take a deep, deep breath in. And a side. Oh, that's awesome. Breathe in again. And a long breath out. Come. Look forward, walk or float. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale and bow. Bend your knees. Utkatasana. Dip deep. Reach higher than usual. Higher. And through your heart center, you bow. Exhale. Halfway up and in. So your low plank, low push up. Find your way. Upward dog. Opening. Downward dog. Flowing. Right foot steps. Warrior one. The first warrior. You look up. You jump. And shut around the low. Flow. Upward dog, downward dog, left foot steps, warrior one. Again, reach, shutter on the low, plank. Upward facing, downward facing dog. Huh, huh. Take a full breath in, press through all ten knuckles. Send your leg bones back. Again, a full breath in, tilt your tail higher. Arm bones to the sky. Deep breath out. Suck your belly up. And walk or jump forward. Inhale. Lane. Exhale. Bow. Bend your knees. Thunderbolt. Inhale. Hands to your heart center. Exhale. And bow. Deep. Inhale. Halfway. Long. Shutter on with your high, low, or drop low up the dog. Downward facing dog. Bring your feet together. Spin your heels to the left. Right hand to the sky. High plank to side plank. Bring your upper knee to tree. Upper foot flat. Again, take the lower knee down if you need to. Not performing, but being true to what's here for you. Can you catch the upper foot with your upper hand and lift it to the sky? Or maybe just pull the knee in, knee in toward your chest. Now look forward, bend the upper knee, swing your upper foot to crescent lunge. Step it, reach up, back heel stays up. Heart open, bring your attitude ah, into some new dimensions, new breath levels. Hands to your heart center and in, and then you spin, twisting. Your lunge, you need to take your back knee down, do that. Dave, show that. Back knee down. Robbie, back knee down. Take your arms to a straight position for a moment. One, just open up. Two, more expression. Arms back, twist more. Look to the floor. Bring your back to flat to warrior two. Come up and around. Front knee over the ankle. Arms opening, turn your palms up, shoulders down, shoulders down, little fingers up, shoulders down, in your breath, front arm to the front thigh, Parsvakonasana, with a right angle over here. Corks through the upper arm around your back and scoop your tailbone in. Take the upper spine into the chest, spin more, breathe in, look to the floor, 
Chaturanga, low plank. Upward facing dog, in. Downward facing dog, out. Bring your feet together, please. Come to your high plank. Now come into your breath here. Really come into your breath. Create just a magical flow. So you're really moving a transformative energy here. Low plank. High plank. Up. Feet together. Spin your heels to the other side. Left arm to the sky. Bring the upper foot to tree. So you want to hug the leg. Engage the legs. Udiya, hug the belly in. Now from tree, you can stay or you can take the knee into your chest. You can catch your big toe with your peace fingers of the upper arm and extend the leg to the sky. Like open up to the highest, the higher. A new power right now. Bend the upper knee, look forward to spin. Set your foot to the front, press it front. Come up. Cross your thumbs above you. Take your arms back from the root, from the shoulders, your arms back. Lift your back knee up, go up and back. Opening up and back, hands to your heart center and twist. Right arm over your front leg. You can take the back knee down, modify your intuition, your body guides you. Listening, straighten the arms. One, two, spin more, open more. Look to the floor, back foot spins flat, warrior two, you come up and around. So your shoulder blades are moving toward each other. Just get in alignment with your placement of the front ankle, knee, hip. Move your front knee toward your baby toe. Scoop your tailbone in, lower belly in, shoulders on one line. And then bring your front arm, forearm to your front thigh. Right on to the sky. Ujjayi. Bend the upper elbow and corkscrew the upper arm around your back. You can still do your hand to the inner thigh. That's awesome. You can take your lower hand to the ankle or to the floor. Scoop your tail more. Upper shoulder back more. Open the lean back. Have fun. Be free. And then look down. Chaturanga. Low plank. We'll lie down and do a cobra. Begin. Do a cobra. Yeah, that's awesome. And then down. Exhale. Take a deep, deep breath in and a sigh. Ah. Ah. Walk or flow forward. Inhale. Bow deep. Exhale. The legs straight and powerful. Bring your hands to your hips. You find your feet, the leg bones. You root deep through the corners, four corners of your feet. You root. Begin pulling the chest forward with a straight spine. We come up to standing. Take your arms up to the sky. Breathe in. Look forward. Eagle pose. Right arm under your left arm. Right leg comes over your left leg. You can do the arms. Lean legs. Find your balance. What we call your drishti. And setting your eyes to one point in a calm way. From your center here, developing balance. Making the connection to a balance. And let's reverse. Just take the other side. Release your feet, your arms high, left arm under, bend the knees, take your left leg over. And you just go into this, and wherever your body stops, you stay. This is your edge. Whatever blocks the path here is the path. You bring breath, uh, you bring spirit, you bring energy. You'll be at source, and you're sourcing and opening in your own body, your energy. Release, feet flat, arms high, breathe in. And again, eagle, right arm under, right leg over. Keep it easy, don't try hard. It just is draining, trying hard is tiring. Not muscling your way through this, try easy. Just being and breathing, being and breathing. Take your top leg, stick me back to press and lunge. Leave your arms in the eagle. Bada, the eagle bind. Lift your elbows, take your head back, lift your back knee, begin to go back, back, awesome. Front knee over the ankle, open the front of your big toe, come up, look forward, step forward, right foot to your left foot, and samasthiti ki, tadasana. Make the connection here, standing, near the light, powerful, empowered. 
photos that you walk with here, from here, to your whole life. Again, on to the scattering. In, eagle, left arm under, left leg over. Turn your elbows to shoulder level. Then you can take the arms toward your back a bit. And then stay steady. Take your top leg behind you to crescent lunge with the eagle arms. So they call you roots, earth, hit the feet and legs. Then like eagle, fly high, head back. Walk your eyes across the ceiling and begin to go back. Get in your fullest breath, deep breath, transformative breath. Look forward, step forward, drop your arms, samasitiki, standing in alertness, awareness. Now, not to adjustment, dancers, folks. So take a strap. And you'll wrap the strap, you'll loop it around your right foot or ankle for dancers. If you don't have a strap, you don't need it. You'll do the other variation where you hold your foot, you take your left hand to your heart center, like a half anjali, a half namaste. Let's set our eyes ready to lift the foot up off the floor. We'll bring one hand to the other hand. You work the strap independent, whatever works here for you. Keep your elbows in the shoulder level, and you really come into a balance. The power here, the balance here, comes from the legs. So hug every muscle expanding leg. Right hip down, to fire up the legs, root deeper, to rise higher, full expression, and then release. Let's come to the other side. Move the other foot, left leg, catch it with your hands. Take a deep, deep breath in. So, ready, set. Yogis of a feather, root deep, and now let's fly high. So, roots and wings, not forcing, but being in the breath. But being in the flow, being true, you know, authentic. Being true to yourself here in a way that honors your body, and then gently release. Release the strap. Let's lose the strap. Kick your left arm to the sky. Catch your right foot. Answers, no strap. Breathe in. And you just go. So press into your legs. The, the standing leg, you want to hug the muscles of the leg. Not hyperextending. For some of you, are more flexible. A little soft at the knee. Open fully. Awesome. And release. And let's take the other side. So not even holding on, just moving through. Catch your left foot in the vinyasa, in the rhythm, in the flow. You go, let's go. Bring it, but from an authenticity. Again, not trying to do something here that's not natural, but you're in your own flow, your own natural, organic flow. A little more expression of this hair, and then release. Step to the front of your mat. Tadasana, the mountain, your mountain. Then we'll take airplane. So shift the weight to your left leg. Now open your palms here to face the front of the room. Take your shoulders back. Lift your right leg backward off of the floor. And you begin to hinge, uh, move forward with your chest. So Dikasana, the airplane. You're keeping, again, the shoulders to your back. You're just taking your mountain forward. Now bring your hands to your heart center. Anjali. And then for half moon, bring your five fingertips, you can use a block or to the floor, and then begin to take your right arm up to the sky as you're ready, as if you were between two panes of glass with your, your heels, your legs, your hips, your heart all on the line, twist more, it's here for you, bend the upper knee, catch it, just for one breath, two breaths. Open more if it's here, and then look to the floor. Relax to the right dog. Bow forward. Ho, oh, oh, ho, moly asana. <laughs> moving some energy, but really, the beauty of the practice, moving through old energy, moving it out, clearing out the old, creating space for the new. Bring your feet together. Take a deep breath back. Your legs powerful. Catch your hips with your hands. Straight spine. Coming up, root down to come up. Arms to the sides, palms facing forward. You see forward, shift the weight into the right, 
and bring your left leg off the earth as you come forward to airplane. Just fly high above it all. You know, balance is challenging. Just fasten your emotional seatbelt, your spiritual seatbelt. It's steady, drishti, samadhi. Hands to your heart center, pause. The breath, half move, right hand down, left arm to the sky. And again, just make this true. You do this little wall, you know, like make it true for you. Bend the upper knee, catch the upper foot. Begin to open, and if you're not binding, you're just holding in a stability. Really creates really the standing leg. Open it more, open into a full expression. Uh, something new here, not forcing. Look down, release down, both feet down. Breathe out, press down to come up to standing straight spine. Set your eyes for tree, tree pose. So bring your left hand, your left hip, right foot to the inner left thigh. Set your eyes at a point at the horizon. You just see forward. See forward, hands to your heart. Let this be calming, really coming into the center of your being, the ground of your being. Lacing your fingers, taking your arms into the sky. Take the arms back, from the shoulders. Maybe you look up now. Take your eyes up, root down high. The deeper the roots, the taller the tree. Heart open, reach up to catch a star. Then catch a star and bring it down into your heart, into your body. Someone's keep the heat, be flat. And to the other side, tree. Right hand to the right hip, left foot up to the inner left thigh. The eyes are set. The balance comes from the vision. The balance comes from the listening. So ears are open. The balance comes from an awakening. And really feeling the earth, your earth, your water here flow. Lace your fingers, extend up. Now bring some fire. Bring some wind. Earth, wind, fire. Bring the fire. Look up. Reach up, open it all up. Whatever's here for you, take it. And then bring your hands through your heart center, feet together. Look up and take your arms up. Reach for something magnificent. And then you bow forward, exhale. Halfway up and breathe in for crow pose. So you'll just take some variation. Your hands are like the low plank, shut around the arms. Can you bring one knee? Like most of you guys, both knees, you guys are showing what you have to shut around and find your low plane to a cobra or upward dog. Breathe in, downward dog. Breathe out. Right foot to your hands, back to the flat. First warrior, reach up. Second warrior, warrior two. Then just check ankle, knee, pelvis. Straighten the front knee on track. Triangle, tilt your tail back. Extend forward. Right hand on five fingertips or a block. Left arm to the sky. A fire at both legs. Turn the inner thighs away from each other. Shoulders toward your back. Look up, twist up, lean back. Like be free. Have fun. Playful. Alive. It's awesome. It's opening. Upper arms straight up. And then come up. Press the right foot to come up. Catch your hips with your hands. Turn your feet in, right foot in, toes in, and then bow forward, hands to the floor between your feet. Take a deep, deep breath in, and sigh. Ah, ah. Let the exhalation, every exhalation, be a completion of the past. Let every exhalation be just some kind of cleansing, you know, moving something out. I'm going to take a deep breath out. Let it mean something. Catch your hips with your hands and come up to standing. Now open your right foot. You'll face the front of your mat. Step your back foot in a quarter so shorten your stance. And take your left arm up to the sky. Bend your front knee here a little bit. Bend your front knee. And then you'll come into twisting triangles. You may want to take your block. Bring it to the outside of your front foot. With the front knee bent, you just have more freedom to pull the right hip back here. 
Take your right arm to the sky. Keep the hand at your hip. Open up, twist more, breathe in, and then look down to downward facing up. We go downward facing up. The arms, talk to the arms, to the sky, the spine, to the heart. Awesome. Take a deep breath out. That's an awesome line. Step your left foot forward. Warrior one, first warrior. Reach up, breathe in, open. And bring your hands to your heart center. And warrior two, second warrior. Deep breathing, deep, deep breathing. Straighten the front knee on track. Tilt your tail back. Move forward. Come into your triangle, the trikonasana. Use your block or five fingers. Deep, deep breathing. Deep, deep breathing. Yeah, I'm just going to soften up your knee. Fire up your legs, scoop your tail, scoop your tail. This arm here, both shoulders back. Twist more, twist more. Open, breathe in, and then come up to standing. Good. Catch your hips with your hands. Feet in, toes turn in. Breathe in and rise up. And bow forward and good. Bring your hands to your low back. Interlace your fingers. Begin to wrap your arms. Rinse your shoulders. If you feel like some heat, some warmth through the shoulders. Just take a nice rinse. And then bring your hands to your hips. Breathe out. Straight spine. Come up to standing. Awesome. Open your left foot. Face the front of the room. Again, maybe step the back leg and shorten it a bit. And then soften your front knee here, bend it a little bit. Then pull, left hip back, right hip forward, twisting triangle, right arm up. And as you begin to hinge forward with the front knee bend, keep moving, taking the torso over the front leg, right hand to the earth, or block is awesome here. So you're ready, you begin opening into it, expressing into it. So you take both legs back, bring your chest forward, twist a little bit more, a little bit more, breathe in, toes in the earth, toes in the earth, toes, make the connection, and then low, downward dog, you go, downward chasing dog, ha, deep breath in, and a side, ha, ha, just a clearing away, awesome, now walk up to the front of your mat, bring your knees down, we'll take one count, Knees to the front, you need to pad your knees, knees to hip width, ankles to hip width, hands to your low back, scoop your tailbone, take your shoulders back, lift the thoracic, root through your feet, yeah, on the toes, it's really nice to modify them, begin to go back, take your hands to the heels, take, you know, go wherever works for you, keep your hands to your low back, your breathing is deep and free, so making every breath work, making every move. If you want to go further, you take your hips forward, root the feet deeper, lift the heart a little higher, and then root down and come up. Now hands to the floor, lift your feet, cross your ankles, and roll over your feet onto your back. For bridge pose, set to Vandasana. Feet and hip with heels under the knees. Lift your hips to the sky, your chest to the sky, and then walk your shoulder blades in just a little bit, not all the way, but just a little bit. Open your chest here, really you breathe deep through the whole body. Stay in your feet. Now stay here and bridge. Four. You can bring your hands alongside your ears. Squeeze the block, hands alongside your ears. Four. Four. Wheel set up. Come to the crown of your head only. Now just pause here. Take your shoulders toward your back your arm bones toward your back, and then begin to press down to come up. Stay in your feet, toes into the earth. Notice some of you are getting really light in your toes. Stay rooted, stay earthy in the legs. Turn your inner thighs to the floor. Root more, rise a little higher, tuck your chin, come down. Take a deep breath in. Each set, each pose, peeling away a layer of the onion. It's awesome. 
Now, one for bridge or wheel, you choose bridge or wheel. Take the setup if you're going into the wheel and come to the crown. Take the arm bones, the shoulders to your back, heart open. Then you root to rise. One. Uh, soften your buttocks. Let the, the buttocks soften. Two. Three. Root to rise. And then come down slow. Awesome. Uh, uh. Bring your knees in your chest. Get a squeeze. Come into some hug energy. Open your arms out like wings. Take your a simple flex legs to the right. Left ear to the floor. Look to the left, legs to the right. And then come to center and reverse it. Right ear toward the floor, legs to the left. Just create a release, just a nice counter movement here. And then come back to center. Again, squeeze your knees and then rock and rolls up and back. Up and back, and go up and back, and then both pose, Navasana. So the both, you can bend the knees, you can hold the backs of your thighs, you can bring your hands to the mat behind you, and that supports you, and then low, high, Navasana, and then high, and then low. And then pause. Okay, hi. They want to go high. They want to go high. Folks want to fly. And then come down slow. Bring your knees up toward your chest. And then uh, cradle your head with your hands. Awesome. And then straighten your right leg. Lift your head and shoulders off of the floor. And then change legs. And then change legs. This time bring right elbow to left knee. And then we'll do 50 of these. One, breathing with integrated. Three, four, feel alive. Five, six, from your core. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, not flailing. 20, one, two, three, four. Sorry if I'm messing up the counting. <laughs> 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 36, 37, 38, 39, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Stay with me. Bring both knees into your chest. Kick your legs to the sky. Oh, head down. Bring your knees into your chest. Rock and rolls. Up and back. Up and back. Massage your back, put some energy through your back, just make this feel good, some kind of relief, release, and then come up to seated position and your hands behind you. Maybe you could come on your ten fingertips if you like. But what you'll do is cross your right ankle over your left thigh for a seated half pigeon. And then, you know, you want to get into your pelvis here, get into the, the hamstring. The performance, IT, whatever you feel. Now let's take the pelvis up to the sky. So hot tabletop. Your fingers can face forward, outward, whatever works. Take your tail really high to the sky. Full breath in, more expansion up, and then come down slow. For seated twist, you'll take your front heel to your opposite hip and come forward. Bring your front foot flat and take your left arm over the front thigh. Take your right hand to the floor behind you. The shoulders back. Twisting, rinsing, like a wet rag, rinsing the spine, internal organs. Root down to rise and spin more. And then look forward, reverse your twist. Leave the legs, but just the upper body. Some open face twisting, softening your jaw, a hint of a smile. It takes each of us a mile deeper and just enjoying our practice, our life. Bring the joy, enjoy, enjoy. Look forward and take your right leg forward. We'll do Johnny's Sasasana. So bring your left foot into your right thigh. Bend the front knee if you need to, but reach forward, catch your foot. Just bow, a simple bow. Again, yeah, if you bend the knee, that releases your hamstring. 
Wanting to just bring the spine, the torso, the center of your chest over your thigh. Press your right thigh toward the earth, and then let's come up. Come to Navasana, again the book. One, now make energy in your toes, soften your jaw, and handle the smile. Don't try hard. Get strong and peaceful, powerful and peaceful. Then bring your feet down, hands behind you, and then seated half pigeon, so left leg over. You can walk your hands in to bring your chest closer to the front leg, whatever, you know, works. But we go by the sensation. Like let, when we say let your body be your body, you really experience what you're experiencing here. Like feeling what you're feeling. You come into the feeling of your body, and then you work with what you're feeling. You breathe into what you're feeling. You begin shifting energy. Take your hips to the sky. Pop the tabletop. Feet active, both of them. Heart open. The mass passive. Let your face release. Make peace. Soften your forehead, Dave. Not wrinkling, not straining. Troy, soften your forehead more. Oh yeah, bring the smiles, bring it, and then come down slow. Awesome. Okay, twist. So you bring your front heel into the opposite hip. Front upper foot flat in front. Take your right arm over, hook it over. Left hand to the earth behind you. Both shoulders, arms back. You want to stretch every muscle, every bone in the chest. Suck your belly in. Root your sitting bones. Root the legs down. Everything at the ground moves down. Part higher, twist more, and then reverse your twist. Leave the legs, the upper body, to bring some uh, new movement here, new stimulation to the mid body, through the back, twist more, look forward, and take your left leg forward. So see a tree, left leg forward, right heel in, bend the knees if you need to, reach forward, bring the center of your chest over your leg, the toes active, front foot on a vertical line, you're really in your breath now. You're really breathing a transformative healing energy in your whole body. And deepen this if you want. If it feels right. If it feels okay. You just sneak some in and gently clean up. Bring your feet flat at the mat and come to boat again. Navasana. Raise your sails high. As the great yoga master Ramakrishna said, the winds of grace are blowing all of the time. And all you need to do is raise your sails. So raise it. Go ahead. Lift it. Come to half boat. If you can. It's not a contest. What can you do? And then raise it. Come up. And then you go down. And raise it. And come down. Raise your sails up. And then slowly come down to the earth all the way. Mm -hmm. Let go of everything here. Alexa, Shabbat play Baba Lemon. There's nothing to do. You don't need to fix your hair. There's nothing to fix. You're okay right now. Just let it all be. Let go of any worry, any concern, anything in your mind. There's something you, at this point, you've moved some energy, you've peeled away some layers. You've created a new condition, you know, a new space, your space, your body. And as a result of the practice, and now there's something maybe you're more aware of, more present, you know, you can even just let go of now. Uh, something you can just give up, get out of the way, so you can really be here for you, uh, an acknowledgement of yourself, like just being with yourself. There's nothing to do here, it's the beauty of Shavasana, this rest is real. Like this rest is real, for real. You let go of everything, any holding. Feel the earth, the floor.
Just a moment of discussion, letting you know that each time I do that same practice, a new layer of the onion is released or peeled. I could do a video of that practice every single, every single time I do a practice and the energy from me to you through this community in Baron Baptiste would be different. Because each time you, you get onto your mat, you are different. Each time, especially if you're new, 
especially if you've been practicing for a long time. Each time you come onto your mat, you are different. And then you try easy, but then it comes in hard. And then you try easy, and then you fall back into patterns, and then you wake up your fingertips. So I could do that practice every single day and record it. Same practice, same background. However, my plants would have shifted with new energy. And each person that does this gives off different energy. Thank you all for joining me this evening or this afternoon or whenever you decide to take this practice. Namaste.